and what's up my wonderful loyal YouTube subscribers I am back again yet for another video today so today we're going to a place called happy coffee you know why because I'm so unhappy with the coffee I'm getting at home oh don't tell the wife that and this is happy times as well I've got my second baby second baby so if you wanna if you're interested in actually seeing anything about the baby the delivery check out our week-to-week -week vlogs on having a baby here in Thailand if you're not interested don't worry either but this is the first time we're taking out our new baby daughter Aria outside of the house big things I think she's only five six days old this is the first time she's actually sleeping right now in the car but my wife is just going crazy at home so we need to get out of the house today is our first day out of the house just the three of us for the first time ever so i'm really looking forward to it it's on soy 102 the famous soy 102 where the famous paris bakery is and other restaurants as well. so on that note please don't forget comment and subscribe follow the channel put those notifications on right on that note let's get out of here and guys we have arrived at the famous soy 102 i say famous because there's loads of places around here if you're from Huahin or you live in Huahin, you know all about Soy 102. I had no clue what Soy 102 was before. And if you're new here as well, these numbers probably mean jack to you. <laughs> they don't mean a damn thing, but we're here. And um, yeah, I'm referring it to Soy 102 just to get it in your mind. So the place is over there. It's called Happy Coffee. It's also got like a Thai translation as well. So let's, let's get going. First look, get for listen. There we go, everyone say hello to the new baby. Look at that face. Let's take her in. Here we go. Happy coffee. Happy Whatever. Anyway, if I can put her. <sighs> First place. Right, guys, let's look at the menu. So, looking at the menu, it's a bit. It's a little bit beaten up, but don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, people. Do not be afraid. We've got a few. Uh, we've got some English breakfast. Con um, pretty. Let's have a look. 150 kind of bar-ish. They have some Western food. Spaghetti main courses. We're not here for that, but they have lots of usual Thai dishes. Good pictures. Old school, but good. It's like reading an old magazine. You know, you go to a bathroom and you see that old magazine from like the 1990s and the pictures look a little bit outdated, but it's good that they got pictures. Well, this is that menu. We've got rice dishes and coffee. So what I have ordered is just, I've been boring today, Americano uh, hot one, which is 50. And you have ordered, what did you order? Uh, Co brownie. Cocoa brownie. So that's here. So we've got teas and cocoa milks and we've got the cocoa brownie here, which is 89 baht. And then some Italian sodas. I don't know why they call them Italian sodas. It's just soda with flavoring in them. And that's the end of the menu. So yeah, the menu, look, the menu's a bit beaten up. <laughs> it's got some nicer sticky tape there, but you know what? It does the trick does the trick right guys so we went through the menu as I said I got my coffee she got the brownie and I just spoke to two people that work in the Thai I'm uh, sorry the English is not that great um, I'm trying to speak Thai as well so I know a few sentences but the answers I get back in Thai I still need to know how to reply to it so this is a work in progress guys my aim is to learn three words at least a day and then see how we progress from there anyway let's wait to see what happens with our drinks but before we do let's have a look around the place
has arrived and that looks like a thing of beauty. Wow. Look at that compared to my boring cup of coffee. This is a diet Nathan versus non-diet Nathan. There you go, you happy with that? Yes. That's good. That looks good. Alright, go for it. So what we got here? Let's try a bit of the brownie. Honest opinion, please. Don't lie to the camera, don't lie to the people, tell us the truth. Yeah? Never lie. Yeah? Is the brownie as good as the one? They have the brownie in the in the DQ, the ice cream place. Is the brownie as moist and juicy as that? Big question. It is? Yeah. Damn, revelations. Are you are you the kind of person that eats the top first and then drinks or you drink then eat at the same time or you like, um, how do you do that? Eat first. You eat first and then you drink, so you do it in layers. That's big as well, you know, that's really heavy. I should bring my scales next time. That's a massive whopping that's of good. drink. Good. That looks about 500 milliliters. That's a, well, that's a beer glass, so I don't know how much a beer glass is. Uh, I'm going to calculate that, put it on the screen here. Now? Huh? I think it's a 50 this one. 50 centiliters. All right, okay. That looks massive. So how is it? Is it good? It's good, yeah. When, it? when you drink, you don't feel the chocolate as much. You don't, you know what I mean? Like. You can't. But key question: How does this compare to the one at Twenty Five Monday? So Twenty Five, uh, yeah. yeah? 25 Remember, it's really chocolatey. Yeah. So which one is better? Like, I'm gonna put you on the spot now. Which one is better? Three, two. It's hard. One. It's good because this one, this brownie, is amazing. The, I think well, if the but brownies the, the, are there. The drink, the drink is better in a. Yeah, but we're not talking about the drink. We're talking about the overall. That's overall. Everything. Too. This one. this one there you go okay okay good all right well let's let's take a look at what you thought of the one in 25 monday chocolate Time and caramel oh yeah it's nice mm. really chocolatey it's probably the i mean have we had a chocolate one before i'm not sure uh, not frappe, I'm not a big no. fan of like generally chocolate milkshakes, but this one is but really I had this, obviously because I like very, it. very good. Right, that's the best. Thumbs one. up, five out of five. And now we're back, and uh, yeah, okay, that's a good comparison. Now here's the one. Here's my coffee. It's going to be a bit of a boring uh, thing, but I'm going to taste it anyway. I'm not a coffee aficionado, but I'm going to try now. All right, here we go. Yeah, it's got that nice. It's actually it's deep, it's thick, it's dark. Wait. What did you say? <laughs> Cut. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's not. It's not the best I've had. It's not the best, but it's good. It does the trick. You know what I really hate? I just hate watery coffees. And if you're gonna make a coffee, you gotta put some welly into it. Mm. It's good. It's good for the price as well. Look, let's talk about the atmosphere of this place. The atmosphere of the place is is really cool. I just love cafes in Thailand. Look at them. Like they got the plants hanging from the trees, you've got the brickwork, you've got kind of got the non-painted walls and you've got the glass, so you kind of feel like you're in a greenhouse environment. Um, I like the name of it, just Happy Coffee. It does make you feel happy to be here. It's not busy at all. It is uh, kind of middle of the week and it's nearly closing time. I think it closes around five o'clock here, so I think we've got about half an hour to go. But uh, the place is really cool so far and I met the owner last time, but I don't think she's here today. We have a couple of other people working here. And I think our husband is working here as well. I might try and speak to him if he speaks English. Otherwise, I'll come back another day and, and speak to them. Uh, but overall, good experience. We might get some cake afterwards or a brownie just to try it. So let's see how it goes. And time for the toilet check. Wow, first stop there. Look at that. Cowboy doors. That's a first. Alright. Let's go. Here we go, people. You know, this is my favorite part of the tour. We've got some happy coffee beans in there, some beans in there. And it's very clean in here. Spotless, in fact. Yep. Yeah, I do approve of It's a very small toilet, obviously unisex or whatever sex there is these days everyone welcome so yeah very clean indeed what does it say here please do not dispose toilet paper and sanitary napkin into flush toilet so that basically means no no tissue 
down there and that's for all of Thailand pretty much and then here we have a nice little basin they could do with emptying the bin though yeah they need to empty that bin and then you've got some nice decorations up here so yeah pretty good guys good job I give you four out of five because just because of that come on see the baby he's <laughs> shy Big boy, I love this boy. He's so uh, I just want to eat him. He's gonna be a wrestler. That was the owner who's not here. She's somewhere else. That was her son, and I met them before I, I, I came, and I really loved him. He's like a chubby little. There he is. <laughs> He's a chubby little boy. Reminds me of me when I was younger. He's pushing around the basket. I just want to like uh, squeeze him. Hello, uh, hello. He's run away. Right guys, so there you have it. The final bill for that was very, very cheap. It was only 139, that's 139 baht. We only got two things, but we just wanted to go out for a quick coffee, nothing fancy. The place is really nice. Look, the owners are so friendly. You saw that little boy, hopefully on the camera, hopefully I got him on film. He's so shy, but he was so funny. He's so, like he's big, but he's chubby, and it just gave me a really good, good feeling of that place. So this is a really cool road to go down. Guys, if you haven't been to Soy 102, just come down here, walk down here, drive down here, stop at one place, walk from one end to the other. I still haven't done that yet. We're working our way slowly through the different restaurants here, but there's so many places to come here. It's absolutely amazing. That place is great. The leather sofas are great. I love the kind of Western cowboy doors for the for the uh, toilet as well. You know, I'm a I'm just one of those weird people that go into toilets and review them. Anyway, the food looks good in there. I'd like to go one day for the breakfast. The lady last time told me the breakfast was really good there. So we will we will start doing some vlogs a bit later on, maybe in a few weeks, maybe a month or so. Breakfast in Hua Hin because we haven't really been out for breakfast because generally I'm not really a breakfast person I'm more of a lunch and dinner person, but guys, thank you for watching Please do comment and subscribe support the channel support Athena support Aria and we'll be back. So thanks for watching. See you soon